Hey, Tweaky. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me. I'm back, 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 back. Desiree Marie and me and Twinkie. <laughs> We're getting a little vitamin, vitamin D, I guess. Because I've been avoiding being out in the sun. Um, not intentionally, but because I'm always at work. And, um, oh gosh, she keeps wanting to poo like right in front of people. <laughs> I don't have a bag but um yeah I haven't been able to get any sunlight because I go to work when it's dark and I get off work when it's dark so I'm trying to find a good angle here kind of keep it discreet at the same time but yeah and I realized that I've been needing more um, I've been needing more more sunlight um, because I've been just in my little hole a little depressed here look at twinkie oh my gosh i don't know that dog when she does that i don't know her because i don't have any plastic so I pick it up natural fertilizer for the for the <laughs> grass but yeah i've been in my hole um i haven't been on here guys i'm so sorry i do apologize for not being consistent but um it's kind of hard to vlog when you don't feel like talking and you just you're just dealing with a lot of stuff like personally it's difficult um it's difficult to vlog when you're depressed you're going through personal issues and stuff but um i've been away from you guys long enough and i don't want to keep you waiting and wondering where i am thank you for the ones that have been contacting me and you know just trying to see where i'm at she hasn't been out here in a while, so I'm just gonna let her explore. Um, I've been, yeah, I've been in my my hole. Somebody's over there watching me. <laughs> Somebody watching me from their window, but hey, you know, you can't wonder what people are thinking. We just gotta go with it. But I've been in my hole, um, MIA, not really feeling like talking, dealing with a lot of stuff, and, um, just not having really much of an outlet um, I have not been consistent with my counselor online therapist which is bad I know oh look at this I mean I don't need it but I'm just saying look at it <laughs> Ew. sometimes they do not clean up around this area of the garbage and stuff but um Ew, Twinkie, don't touch that. Ooh. But yeah, I've been in my hole. I've been MIA. And um, I just wanted to say sorry, guys. Don't come and apologize for my inconsistencies. And um, just let you guys know that I do have things coming up. That I will be um, talking to you guys more. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's just what me and Tweaky are doing this morning. I finally let her out to get some fresh air because she's bored because I'm bored and I'm just staying in my apartment not doing anything. And I don't like to see her bored, you know? I want her to be happy and she loves to be outside, so, yeah. All right, guys, so I'll talk to you when I get back in. Look at my old car. This is not the color that I have, but look at this. I had a two door, but wow, this reminds me of my old baby Land Rover. Oh, 
I miss my car. I miss it. Oh, one day I'll get something better. So much cute. Look at that. I don't like the color though. I mean, I love orange, but not on a car. All right, me and Twinkie are about to go home. I just love how she can put smiles on faces. <laughs> like, I live in a, um, a Jewish neighborhood. I, I already told you guys that. And um, <laughs> everybody's out, I guess, either going or coming from the synagogue, wherever they worship. And um, that's so funny. I had a dream that I said something about that. So I don't know what. I, wow, that just that just made me think of something. Um, but they're all dressed up, and just to see her out here walking around dressed up just looks so cute. So she got a lot of smiles. Um, <laughs> and plus, she looks so cute, doesn't she? Sweetie, come here, baby. Don't she look so sweet? Huh? Don't she look so sweet? How are you enjoying your walk, baby? It's been a while, right? <laughs> All right, baby, let's go. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the apartment. Tinky took off her clothes. <laughs> She's so cute. She always brings a smile to my face. Every time I look at her, she's doing something funny for her face. <sighs> but that felt good. It's really nice outside, so I definitely wanted to take advantage of the outdoors I'll be out there later um, as well but this morning I wanted to take advantage of the outdoors and also let Twinkie get some time to enjoy herself outside since she's been inside all the time <sighs> but yeah guys this has been very pivotal to um, my you know, time off I have been writing a whole lot in my journal. Getting back into that because I did fall off of journaling. Um, but this week was the first week, the first time in 2018 that I started writing back in my journal. And it feels good. In my journal, I write down thoughts. I write as if I'm writing to um, my father. Like I, I do Dear Daddy. Um, letters in here where I talk to God and I just give him my raw like tell him my raw feelings how I'm feeling that day what happened um, and it's a, also a way to encourage myself as well and um, this morning I just got up and wrote in this and just took some time to think pray reflect and it feels good it feels good for me I love to write down um, what I'm feeling because when you write it down it looks so much smaller than it really you know than it does in your mind like when you keep things in your brain for so long it seems like it's so tall and monumental but when you write it down you realize how small it is and how hey maybe it, it can be um, you know maybe it can be the problem can be solved and you know you see things from a different perspective when you write things down um, it's very therapeutic to me, uh, same way as is talking to the camera. Um, but I forgot how how much I really enjoyed writing down my thoughts, and I got back into it this week, um, you know, and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I am leaving. Sorry, leaving YouTube, guys. I love you guys too much for me to leave. But um, yeah, I'm just chilling for now. Later on, I do have plans to go out by myself. Yes, I'm gonna go out by myself. It's gonna be a date day with me. Um, I plan on going to, bless you. <laughs> She's just making these weird sounds. I do plan on going to this local jazz event at a, at, not a park. It would be nice to do a park thing today, but At a um at a local library, so I'm gonna be going there, and then I, because I'm signed up with T-Mobile Tuesdays, they were giving away four dollar um tickets to see Maze Runner today, so I'm going to go see that after, 
and yeah just take myself out and enjoy the outdoors because it's really nice outside it was nice last weekend but i did not go outside because i was just not feeling good i just didn't feel like doing anything i was just inside and yeah but this weekend i am going to get myself up you know dust myself off and go out there and enjoy my own company um no i don't have a date this week so this is a good opportunity to date myself um i saw a really good sermon and i'll list it down below but um this guy was talking about what to do before the person before you meet you know the person that you you're going to date and spend the rest of your life with before you actually begin to entertain dating it's good to you know date yourself and understand yourself embrace the season of singleness um maybe not season but embrace your singleness and find out what you really love you enjoy same things i've been hearing all along but this summer really like it really hit good points for me um the guy he also talked about um divorce and divorce happens when you don't do singleness right you know when you're not when you don't effectively embrace your singlehood you get into a marriage and then it ends in divorce and as we know according to statistics 50 percent of marriages end in divorce and he said that it's not a marriage problem, it's a single problem. It's where people fail to understand how to be single and how to be single effectively. Um, I already told myself, like, I, I want to be in a healthy relationship. And I, the only way that I can do that is for me to be effectively single. Um, so that really, like, really showed me, like, wow, Desiree, you, you know, he also talked about like um he went back to the the book of genesis where he talked about um where when god placed adam in the garden like that was the first thing he did was place him there and the places that you are in right now is where god wants you to be he placed you in that that job that you so hate he placed you in that family he placed you in that you know in that geographical place um, for me I'm in my own place I'm in my own apartment and he placed me here to effectively work where I am right now and um, get to know him on a different level and also get to know me and strengthen that relationship with me um, and just really embrace where he has placed me rather than try to run from it i realized since i've gotten into this apartment um for the first time it was just it, it's just me and so since then i have been back and forth feeling depressed feeling down because of feeling lonely and stuff like that so i've tried to fill that void in with people and i have i i've it's just so much so much so much guys so much on my heart but um yeah pretty much he placed me here and i need to embrace the season i'm in right now like it doesn't make sense fighting it it doesn't make sense trying to run from it, it doesn't make sense trying to do things my way um does that mean that i'm still dating yes of course but i also more than anything need to effectively Find out what God, oh, sorry guys. Find out what God wants for me here and embrace it. Embrace where I am. Enjoy where I am. Enjoy the company of my own, my own self, me and Twinkie, you know? Enjoy it. God has placed me here and it's just me and Twinkie and I'm paying my own bills and I'm responsible for my own self. I must en enjoy this, you know? Because like he said, you might as well enjoy it now because you're going to look back at this time and really realize wow i should have i really should have done that time a lot better like this is the last chance that you get before your whole time is taken up with a husband and a family so you might as well enjoy being single like the other day i enjoyed cooking a full pot of pasta and i don't have to share with anybody like nobody i'm not obligated to share my full pot of pasta with anybody so guess what that means more for me you know i am not obligated to clean up after anybody when i clean something it stays clean nobody messes it up only reason why i may get dirty is because of maybe dust and i have to dust things but you know i <sighs> 
I have not been um, the best at embracing where God has planted me, which is in this apartment. And I've been here for almost a year now. So I really want to do my best to enjoy where I'm at while I'm on the way to where God wants me, but not really put so much emphasis on where he wants me to be like in the future, but more be happy with the now, be content with where I'm at with my portion in life right now. So yeah, guys, um, I don't know if that's where you're at right now, where you realize that maybe for me, I, I've been comparing myself. So that's why I've been a little distant from social media. Um, I actually deleted my Instagram app temporarily because I realized I'll log in and I'll spend a lot of time on there. I realize I'll be scrolling, just mindlessly scrolling, but it's really not mindless because I'm actually taking in what I'm seeing and I'm internalizing it and I'm I'm comparing myself to other people that I know and even you know celebrities it's like come on girl you got your own life you should be grateful of course I'm grateful but it's very um natural for us to compare when we see other people doing things and we really want to be there and we're wondering we're looking around like well why am I not there I just had to take a break from social media and um, and just really get quiet, you know, and stop comparing myself, get quiet, get quiet, pray more, read the Bible. I've been doing that this week and really just get back into my relationship with God. <sighs> Thank God for his mercy, you know. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm going to, what is she doing? Hey, Twinkie. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> she loves this toy, right? This is how she plays with it. <laughs> she chews on the hair. Tweaky loves chewing on strings. So when I picked this up, I knew she would have loved it. Because she loves to chew on strings. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I'm just going to get myself together. Um, I still have a little bit more time before I run out. But I'm glad that I got to walk her because I would have really felt guilty if I didn't take her out on this beautiful, nice day and me just run out of the apartment and leave her here. Um, yeah, thank you for your well wishes concerning Ginger. Um, thank you guys for reaching out to me and your all your condolences. I have not been able to get back to each and every one of you, but thank you so much. Um, as you probably can see, I do have her right here. <laughs> That's my baby girl, my booby. And um, yes, I will always have her in my heart. I actually had a dream of her the other night. I feel like she visited me in my dreams. <laughs> I miss her. Hey, guys. So I'm here with my boo. Yo, my yo. My friend, Rashawn. Hey. What's up, High school what's friend up? from way back. Girl, hey. Way back. All the time. <laughs> right? As you can see, he's Jamaican. He got a Jamaican pet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm making sure my pets go to heaven. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I'm reading from my devotional. Don't, don't judge me on this devotional. Some coffee spilled on it. It's pretty old. <laughs> So Twinkie, listen up. I don't know about you, but every day I tell the Lord, Father, you are looking at a desperate woman. I need you, Lord. Without you, I cannot do anything. Or without you, I can do nothing. The Bible teaches us that if we admit our sins and confess them, he will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Start by freely admitting all your faults. Hold nothing back. Admit them to God and to people. Don't make excuses or place blame elsewhere. As you do this, you will experience a new freedom in your relationship with Jesus and with people will improve greatly. I have found that if I tell people my faults before they find them on their own, neither one of us is as bothered by them. Be open with people. Most people respect and admire honesty and openness. It's true. It is what we try to hide that comes back to haunt us. <laughs> Invite Jesus into every area of, of your life. Don't ad don't hide your faults from him. He knows about them anyway. Don't hold anything back. Give God everything. Amen. In the prayer. 
Lord, I ask you to come into every area of my life. I confess my sins and faults to you and ask your forgiveness. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness and make me whole. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Twinkie, you... What, what, Tinky, did, what did you get from the devotional, baby? Oh, yeah, yeah, Lord. I need to put some more flea powder on her. Uh, what did you get from the devotional today, sweetie? That you, you have to give God everything, right? And you have to co admit your faults. Lord. Twinkie, you're not making this an attractive video with all that scratching. <laughs> oh, man. I got to put some powder on her. I'm going to do that today, guys. What did you learn, baby? You have to admit your faults, right? And not place blame on anybody. Lord. Twinkie! Pay attention! <laughs> Pomeranians do not pay attention. <laughs> you have to admit your faults, right? And not place blame on anybody. Lord, help us. Right, baby? And you have to try your best. This girl has no attention span. <laughs> she stopped though to say, wait, you talking to me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey guys, it's me. It is Tuesday and the time is about seven. And I'm here um, on the floor doing my devotional, or about to, but I was just talking, talking to myself, talking to God and just being, just finding gratitude for today and being excited for the day. Um, I have some exciting news and I'm so excited because it has to do with my goals and what I've been wanting for myself this year. And I know you guys, um, if you saw my last video where I was talking, well not my last video, but I was talking towards the end of the year about the goals that I want to set and just the way that I want to move forward in 2018. I talked a lot about loving myself, taking better care of myself. So guys, I finally made the step forward in the right direction and I just joined the gym guys I joined the gym I'm an official gym member so guys tonight is the first night that I will be going um, I'm so excited I'm mostly going for the studio classes but I will be also doing you know the machines like the treadmill and um yeah I'm so excited because it's something to look forward to it's a way to break the monotony of the week um, you know I'm, I'm a person that likes likes routine but at the same time it does like too much routine in my life makes me feel like I'm stagnant like I'm not you know it, it becomes boring for me I, I get bored easily with too much routine wake up come to work go back to work eat go to sleep repeat like I and then you wait for the weekend the weekend is only two days and then after the weekend is done you have to do the same dull routine like I don't want to be that adult that just settles into a boring lifestyle praying for the weekend and the weekend comes and disappears just that quickly no I want to do something with my life I want to get active I want to get out. Um, the the um, gym that I'm going to is a little bit away from my apartment, but I consider that um, there's also a gym near my apartment too. But I'm choosing to go to the one a little further out because I um, I like that gym better. It has more evening classes. Um, I have been there before, and I already know the the environment, so it's amazing already. Um, but I choose to do that because I want to get out, get out of my apartment, get on the bus, be around people. Because when you're not around people, me being an introvert, sometimes I don't want to be around people. But then at times I do want to be around people, you know. At times you want to, we were made for a community to be around people and be social. So I, I don't want to settle into the same old dull routine where I stay a hermit in my apartment especially in the winter time because I realize the winter time makes me feel a little bit sad <laughs> and I kind of go into a uh, depression mode but I'm break I'm making a an intentional decision to break out of that um and and just get out because I didn't realize when you move in when you move out and you move into an apartment and you're living by yourself 
of course I already knew that I would have those moments where I would feel lonely but I never knew that it would feel like this like I'm not complaining I am so grateful to have my own place but you do have those moments where it's like you're the one that's responsible for yourself so you can have a really crappy day if you want to or you can have a great day it's all in your hands and you have to be you have to be responsible for yourself you have to take charge over your life and if you don't nobody else is going to do it no one else in my apartment is is going to make me get up and make me shower and make me think positive i can be i can fall into a a, a dull and depressing life if i choose not to do anything but i have to take authority over my life get up get moving get my mind intact you know so when you live on your own you really have to take responsibility for yourself for your mental condition your emotional condition because and even your your physical your spiritual of course because no one else is there to make you do anything especially if you have children you are even more responsible to get up and to to think right to you know eat right to do the right things you know i have a, a dog <laughs> and she keeps me alert sometimes like as to how i am looking at the moment sometimes i'll be like you know just recent i would be on the couch just bored drained a little depressed and then i look at her and she's just sleeping in her bed and looking bored too the same way I look and I'm like no I don't want to do this to my pet just because I'm feeling some type of way I don't want her to feel bored and depressed so I would get up because of Twinkie and Twinkie's so cute that she makes me smile so much so I'm grateful to have her um, in the apartment she keeps me smiling and she gives me something to she always gives me something to do um, you know she she lifts my spirits uh, but Guys, if you have a goal that you want to achieve in 2018, keep saying you want to do it. Keep saying it. Keep keep it right in front of you. I have not made a vision board yet. I keep saying I will, but I want to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But if there's something you want to do, get started. Move in the right direction towards it. Even if you're just taking baby steps, move in the right direction to get it done. And that's what I decided yesterday to do. I finally, you know join the gym yesterday um, because I kept saying I want to join the gym I want to join the gym I've been saying this for months and since I think since last year about Thanksgiving like November I want to join the gym I want to join the gym and I'm just thinking to myself how much longer are you gonna say you want to join the gym until you finally join the gym <laughs> so I just made the step forward in faith God is gonna provide every month where I'm able to make the payments of course and even more fun I can invite a friend to join with should join me um, and we can both you know work out and stuff so I'm excited for how this change this this membership um, will help me to be all around healthy um, to get up get moving get active release some endorphins and feel good again and get motivated again because guys I haven't been motivated guys you see how I, I I've been lacking with the you know videos not only have I been slacking with videos I've been slacking with my business I've been slacking with few other things too my you know my spiritual life too but I'm trying to get up and, and get moving. I'm not trying to allow the rest of my year to be humdrum, you know? That's not who I am. That's not the lifestyle I want. So I'm getting up, moving forward, becoming a better and healthier Desiree so that I can have something to give to you guys and other people in my life and just really have a prosperous year. You know what I'm saying? So today I packed my gym clothes. I'm going right after work. I'm excited! <laughs> of course I'm going to bring you guys with me uh, however I can and we're going to have a wonderful time. So guys, I'm going to end the video here, but the next video you'll see me, you know, working out and stuff like that. But I just wanted to encourage you guys to set a goal and move forward in that goal and you will see the spark 
come back into your eyes again um, especially if you are a little down and depressed make a goal for 2018 and try your best to move forward in that direction every day every day find a way to make a step forward and you will crawl you will find your way out of that hole as i am today <laughs> So, guys, I know I've been a little slack, but please forgive me. You already know I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> and, yes, yeah, stay tuned for many more videos. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.